So here comes the power of YouTube in the classroom. I'm going to search for videos and I'm going to go ahead and search cells. We're going to do a unit on cells and I would strongly recommend that you watch all of the videos before you actually have kids watch them. Um, so if in that case, so I can pick, get the vertical ellipse, the three little dots, I can save it to watch later and after I watch it later, I can save it to a playlist. But right now, I'm just going to, for just to show you, I'm going to just save it to a playlist. So the only playlist I have right now is watch later. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new playlist, and I'm going to call it cells. Now, you can make it public. If it's public, it'll show up on your channel. If you create it unlisted, it will not show up on your channel. And only people that have the actual link to it can find it. And the last option is to make it um, private. But if you make something private, then it then it becomes the only way you can watch it is if you're logged into your account. So this wouldn't be really good for uh, sharing on Classroom or giving to a sub. So I'm going to go ahead and save this to the playlist cells. We just created that. We can create a new one if we want to. And then you just really don't have to do anything. You just click that and you'll see a little pop-up says added to cells. And uh, we'll just do one more. Saved playlist, and we're going to go to cells. Since I made this public, it should show up now on my channel under my playlists. And there it is. And you can see that I have my playlist right here. Now I can play all by going right here, or I can view the full playlist. And so I can reorder these if I want to in whatever order I think is appropriate for um, the class. And again, it's really a helpful tool for sub or if you want to put um, a playlist on your classroom for kids to see. Those are all good ideas. Now to share this, this is the confusing part. So if I go back here to my channel, and I go to my playlists, you'll see that there's really no way to share this playlist. The only way to share it is if you go to view full playlist and then you come here to edit. And then when you go to edit, you'll see your share button. So you come here and you'll share it. You can double click here and then copy this and then you can paste that link um, to whatever you want to add it to, classroom or maybe on a Google Doc or something like that. So that's where you find the sharing.